I grew up in uh, Texas, actually, with my adopted mother. She adopted me because my mom passed when I was three. When my dad left, she decided to send me to her sisters, and that was kind of like a betrayal, finding out, you know. And that's when I found out that she wasn't my real mom. It was really hard for me, and I felt like I was betrayed, so I kind of rebelled and then had a hard life through that, and I didn't have no structure family or a family after that. I had to do everything on my own, and my father, when he left, he was just became an alcoholic really bad, and he was never in my life until um, when I got older. I met, I had a lot of guys' relationships that were really abusive, and the last one I had, I had his son, and um, he was very abusive after I had my son. I had to get out of there. I mean, it was one thing that, you know, to abuse me, but it was another thing, like, when after I had my son, the abuse I was seeing with my son, seeing it scared me, so. I reached out to my dad to see how he was, and come to find out, he uh, went and threw 211 as well, and went to the, Sal they connected him to the Salvation Army. Salvation Army is an organization that helps meet people's basic needs. Um, in, a, in a lot of different ways. We have a social service side of the building where we offer different programs like Food Shelf, um, Heat Share to help with utility bills, um, emergency assistance for anything else they may need assistance with. We have our emergency homeless shelter also and that has 68 beds and we also house seven veterans at a time. We house seven families at a time and 30 plus men at a time. That was really scary, like doing it all myself and coming to a different state. And the Salvation Army helped me through like counseling, like they helped me to not feel alone. They told me, you know, if you're gonna be a dedicated person, we can help you with things. And they did, they helped me find a daycare. They helped me get with the county to get help from them as well. I got a phone call from Tiana right after she had moved to St. Cloud, was in the shelter and was just feeling stuck. She didn't know how she was going to get out of the shelter, she just knew that that was her goal. Was she was going to have something better for herself and her son especially. Uh, so I got the call saying, the county said you can help me try to figure out child care. How can you help me? Child care is huge right away because our moms coming here have children and has to have somewhere to go so mom can have an income. Tiana, in her case, had no income. This, we were looking for childcare before we got connected with the county and got her that income. But before that, we had no income. Mom's out job searching. She's not able to fully do her job search without childcare. She's not able to fully commit to job or housing search without childcare. She basically gave me all the names of the places in St. Cloud area of daycares and what kind of daycares and home pricing and she really helped me. She came out to my house and talked to me about what I would like and anything concerning my child. Child Care Choices is a nonprofit agency in St. Cloud. We do work um, with child care providers, with families, with community members that are all invested in early childhood issues to make sure we have good quality options for children and families. She found me Little Saints Academy and the county actually approved me um, to pay for it. I think a lot of times for families who have not found our services yet or you know if our services did not exist anymore it creates a gap of families who get stuck and they just they don't know how to put the pieces together or maybe they hurry through the process and figure okay here's child care that has an opening so I'll quick put my child in that but then they're not comfortable with it or they don't feel safe with it or they can't afford it. She was here for maybe a little over two months in which we spent that whole two months trying to find child care a, a place that would accept her son and trying to find employment. Um, while she was here, when I tell you she applied at every job in the mall, she literally applied at every job in the mall. They got a li like a library computer room in the Salvation Army where you can go online and search for jobs. And, and I got a job with Ted's Lighthouse, which is working with disabled people. Her motivation was her son, and she was relentless in looking for those things. Things are looking up. like. Stuff I never thought I'd be able to do or I thought was too late because of the situation I was living in. And now it's um, really exciting. Sorry. 
I'm just really happy that I was able to have my life change because for my son and me, we weren't living a happy life. And having the strength of people out here really helped. And I'm really grateful for everything everybody's done for me. United Way plays a huge role because without their assistance in funding and supporting our programs, we're not able to do what we do. United Way has meant in my life is that um, you're not alone. You can call and get help and that there's people that really care out there and will help you in any situation you're in.